As we get closer to the nitty gritty, folks, I'd like you to give these uh, young people another round of applause. It was always a, a, a dream of mine as a young person to be able to show here and uh, for these young people to be able to do that and then also uh, realize the excitement and the, uh, um, the goal of, of winning your class and maybe standing in the middle or being in contention for a rosette and a banner is, uh, is something that a lot of the kids out here never get to experience. So I hope the young people that are standing in the middle of the ring certainly appreciate the opportunity they've been given. They certainly weren't given it easy. They probably had to earn it like everybody else. We're at senior champion, and if you have any doubt that that production cow is your senior champion cow, man, whoo! Yeah. Uh, we, we just explained how wonderful our mammary system is, and uh, we're not going to go into the detail again. Just tremendous cow, tremendous dairy cow. And, a cow that I think anybody would like to take home, regardless of the breed that you're an enthusiast of. For reserve, it'll be your second place production cow. It just follows that pattern of dairiness, angularity, and maturity. <laughs> Strength, Ayrshire breed character. I say that a lot. They're all different breeds. I grew up in this one, but we judge them all. You gotta judge them all for what they are. Otherwise, they're just cows, right? Beautiful group of Ayrshire cows out here for senior champion. Your honorable mentions on that first place age cow. Another nice cow in her own right. Very youthful in her mammary's appearance. Great in her feet and legs. She walks so smoothly as she moves to the ring and makes a great honorable mention champion. Congratulations to these juniors. We're looking forward to champion of the junior show. Congratulations. Our senior champion of the junior show is entry number... 415, and she is that production cow, Top Glen, Wishful Thinking, exhibited by Tanner, Brennan, Marissa, and Logan. If you turn your attention to the International Junior Holstein Show, Judge Ferry has completed his placing in our age cow class. Placing third in the class is entry 727, Miljean Halo, Jiggy With It, exhibited by Ariana, Tianda, and Trayton Hildebrandt of Hustisford, Wisconsin. Second in the class is entry 723, Silver Mist Sanchez Kate, exhibited by Aubrey, Aiden, and Elena Topp of Botkins, Ohio. And winning the class is entry 724, Heart and Soul Sammy Ricky, exhibited by Hayden Weaver of Milmont, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Brandon, your thoughts on the class? you like cows with square frames, boxcar rumps, and good udders, you better check out this cow coming around in front because she's got all that. Beautiful mammary system. As I said, a cow that's got that big square rump on her. But it's that mammary system that gives her an advantage over our second prize cow. For us, she just shows us a little more height and width right at the top of the rear udder, a little bit fuller right at the top of the rear udder. She's also a cow when you analyze her a little further. She's got a little bit more spring and openness to that rear rib for us today. She's a little fuller through that through that uh, rear rib for us today when you get behind her. <clears throat> Taking nothing away from this big powerful cow moving out in second. Cow moving out in second moves just a little more freely, a little more comfortably on those hind legs for us today over our, over our uh, cow in third, this black silky feminine qual quality cow. She's a cow that's just a little longer, a little smoother through that forwarder attachment. We prefer the way the forwarder blends into the body wall just a little bit tighter for us today. But you certainly admire the angularity, the femininity on this cow. She's, a, she's a, all silk and quality. And it's that silkiness and quality that gives her an advantage over that fourth prize cow. She's just a little bit longer framed all the way throughout. As I said, she's cleaner hided. She's a cow that a little more open ribbed, a little bit more flat boned all the way throughout. Shows us a little more veination through that mammary system as well. Fourth over fifth over our red cow. For us, just a little more definition of seam, a little more balance and symmetry to those hindquarters over a really quality cow moving out in that red cow. Congratulations.